what's going on Transformer Addicts? This is Seaspray coming at you, give you a Transformer fix. We're going to do another Transformer review today. This time we're going to lead into Legend Size, and this series is the hunt for the Decepticons. This is Autobot Sandstorm. This guy's a G1 homage to his G1 counterpart, who was a triple. He turned into a helicopter and like a dune buggy thing. And since we probably won't get a Springer, uh, I'd be cool to get this guy and... Who was the other guy? Broadside? But I doubt we could get Broadside. Okay, so so yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. Nice little colors on him. Let's take a little look here. Cool, this guy's a level 1 conversion. And we'll just take a look at the side here, or the back I should say. You can see his alternate mode, and you can see the repaint of Hound, which is called Tracker Hound. Um, this is cool, I, don't, I didn't get this yet, but uh, it's okay, I'm not really a big fan of it. I'll get it, but uh, I've got a lot of stuff I have to get first. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just open this guy up and take him out of his plastic prison. Okay guys, let's do this. Okay, and here we are, Sandstorm. I really like this guy, actually. I like this mold, and the colors on this guy just look really, really nice. As you can see, he's a tan color, has some orange, some silver, black, white, and that is pretty much it. Nice looking repaint, if I do say so myself. And this is just a repaint of Beachcomber, and I think it's pretty cool, actually. But traditionally, this is homage to the G1 character, who was a triple changer. He was a dune buggy, helicopter, and a robot. So, not quite there, but uh, it's still cool nonetheless. Really nice Autobot insignia on his chest there. I like that a lot. On the face, it looks really nice. I like that silver visor. And just the sculpt of it overall is really cool. Not too bad. Leading into the chest area, as you can see, it's really nice. With uh, Like I said, it's orange, and I really like that silver chest plate thing. It looks pretty cool. In the waist region, pretty plain, leading down into legs, and then the lower legs, as you can see, uh, this is the front part of the Jeep, or the Dune Buggy, I should say. A lot of different colors going on, so it's not, not so boring, actually. It looks pretty good. Arms look pretty cool. Little fist on there. And just really quick here, this actually comes off. And you can't really hold on to it, but um, it still comes off nonetheless. Just in case it uh, pops off one day and you wonder where, where the heck it went to. So you know it comes off now, so you won't lose it. So for articulation for this guy, Arms can rotate 360, they're on ball joints, and they can slightly move up and down. And same goes for the right arm. And uh, he also had this kind of movement too, he can go hey hey hey, hey 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 But that's for transformation. Legs are on ball joints, they can go back, forward, side to side, in and out. He does have some knee movement, which is pretty nice, as you can see. You can have him crouching if you want to, which is always cool. But that is pretty much it. His head does not rotate at all or nothing like that. So I guess we can jump into transformation. Okay, so to transform this guy, all you want to do is pull this up. You can take his feet, bring them up, take them, and now fold them in. Snap them together. His feet are actually the seats, as you can see. You can now take his arms, bring them down, snap it into place, make sure everything is lined up nicely 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 okay and here we have the doom buggy mode it's okay um, if I had to choose one I would choose I think beachcomber over this guy I don't know this one looks a little bit more plain in car mode I think there's a little bit more personality in robot mode uh, it looks kinda weird just with the tan coloring I don't know maybe it's just me but I do like the silver headlights they look, they look really nice it's kinda boring in the back Gun on top you got the wheels I wish they would have made the uh, the middle of the wheel silver, I think that would have been a nice touch. I think a little bit more silver in here would have been cool. Pop, you got the wheels, I wish they would have made the, uh, the middle of the wheel silver, I think that would have been a nice touch. I think a little bit more silver in here would have been cool. Maybe an Autobot insignia on the front or something like that. It does roll pretty good though. Woo, hey, 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 nice, nice. And that is pretty much it. Not really digging the vehicle mode. So we will just jump back into robot mode, so all you want to do you can just undo all this stuff pretty loose, you can just undo it unfold the legs, bring the feet down bring the arms down bring the body down and there you go back in robot mode like I said, I like this a lot better in robot mode than vehicle this is a cool toy um, if you can find it, pick it up I, I definitely recommend it uh, I really think it's cool. I like the white face. I think that's pretty cool. That visor is pretty neat. And um, always a nice touch when it comes to a G1 homage to a figure, even though it's not a triple changer. But still a nice figure overall. 
even if it is a repaint. And that's it. So this is Sea Spray. Thanks for watching the video review on Humphrey Decepticon's Legend Size Sandstorm. Please rate, comment, share, video response, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And stay tuned for more reviews. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.